Boris Johnson has warned of difficult roads ahead in the global vaccine rollout during a call with German Chancellor Angela Merkel amid a vicious row between Britain and the bloc. A bitter row broke out between the EU and the AstraZeneca pharmaceutical company over whether they broke their vaccine delivery commitments. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen accused the company of misrepresenting its contract with the bloc as the UK raced ahead with its rollout. But now, Prime Minister Boris Johnson and German Chancellor Angela Merkel have spoken about resolving the ongoing vaccine dispute. A Downing Street spokesperson said, the Prime Minister spoke to German Chancellor Merkel this evening. The leaders discussed the difficult road ahead on the coronavirus pandemic and agreed that governments should continue to work together to roll out vaccines around the world. They discussed the importance of support for the COVAX vaccine distribution scheme to ensure equitable vaccine access and resolved to cooperate closely through the G7 and beyond on our shared fight against coronavirus. The Prime Minister and Chancellor Merkel discussed efforts to tackle climate change and reduce global emissions. The Prime Minister welcomed German leadership in this area and looked forward to our governments working closely together in the run-up to the UK-hosted COP26 summit. The 2021 United Nations Climate Change Conference, also known as COP26, is the 26th United Nations Climate Change Conference. It is scheduled to be held in Glasgow, Scotland, from 1 to 12 November 2021. The Prime Minister also reinforced a relationship between the UK and Germany on international issues such as situations in Afghanistan, Libya and Iran. The spokesperson continued, the leaders discussed a number of international issues including the situations in Afghanistan, Libya and Iran. The Prime Minister underlined the value of UK-German cooperation in these areas, both bilaterally and as NATO allies. Both leaders condemned Russia's ongoing detention of Alexei Navalny. The Prime Minister reiterated the need for Russia to declare its Novichok program and uphold its international obligations under the Chemical Weapons Convention. Mr. Navalny is a vocal critic of the Kremlin and Vladimir Putin and has continued to accuse the Russian president of the plot to poison him in August. The Russian opposition politician was flown to Berlin after falling ill on a flight to Serbia and remained in a coma. His team claim he was poisoned with a Novichuk nerve agent and was discharged from hospital in September. Berlin said tests in Germany, France and Sweden confirmed Mr. Navalny was poisoned with a Novichuk nerve agent. Following news of his poisoning, the West demanded an explanation from Russia, who have continued to deny any involvement. Ms. Merkel faced increased pressure to cut ties with Russia as Mr. Navalny recovered in hospital. Wolfgang Eskinger, chairman of the Munich Security Conference and a former ambassador to Washington, backed a response from the EU and NATO. He said, if we want to send a clear message to Moscow with our partners, then economic relations must be on the agenda and that means the Nord Stream 2 project must not be left out. We can't put up a wall between the West and Russia, that would be a step too far, but there is a middle ground, something between diplomatic gestures and total boycott. The Nord Stream 2 is a new export gas pipeline running from Russia to Europe across the Baltic Sea. The name Novichuk applies to a group of advanced nerve agents developed by the Soviet Union in the 1970s and 1980s. Novichuk agents block messages from the nerves to the muscles, causing the collapse of many bodily functions. They were reportedly designed to be more toxic than other chemical weapons but some versions can take effect rapidly from 30 seconds to 2 minutes.